Внимание. Еще раз. Еще раз. Пожалуйста, здесь. Пожалуйста, внимание. How does it feel to be away from your launch less than a month from now? 
We're pretty excited. I have to say it feels a little bit different as Prime Crew than it did at Backup. We know uh, that launch is coming very soon, uh, but I'm extremely confident that our crew is well prepared. We've had years of training by instructors at both NASA JSC as well as GCTC here uh, in Russia and in, uh, our international partners at, at JAXA and ESA as well and, and CSA. You just finished your final qualification exams and you're, you've trained in both the Soyuz TMA series and of course your own MS series vehicle that you'll be flying. What were some of the challenges that you faced during your qual exams and during your overall training? Yeah, it's been a different training flow. Uh, we're switched vehicles uh, between the backup and the prime launches, uh, but it's actually been really a great chance to see the teams pull together, put the procedures together, and watch everybody really quickly transition to this new vehicle. Uh, so it's been a great process going through final exams and, and seeing our trainers, the ground personnel, and our crew really work together on all of this. And finally, you have a lot of friends and fans around the world. And for people who want to follow you and your mission, how can the public follow you on social media? Yeah, well, I hope I'll be posting to NASA astronauts uh, when I'm on board. So that's the Twitter handle. You can look that up there, as well as ISS Research. And if you go to the NASA.gov homepage, there's a variety of different ways to follow both our expedition webpage as well as social media resources. Kate Rubens, International Space Station Expedition 48 and 49 flight engineer, and Peggy Whitson, veteran astronaut, flight engineer of Expedition 50 and commander of Expedition 51 in a few months from now. Peggy, you've been to the International Space Station two times. Do you have any advice for Kate Rubens who'll be going up for her first time? <laughs> I've got a lot of advice for Kate. I'm, we've been sharing a lot of stories lately uh, to try and make sure she has everything I know, which isn't necessarily the whole story, but at least I'll try and give her as much uh, inside information as I can. Uh, the one thing I know for sure is she's going to love it on board station, and she's going to love doing all the science. It's going to be a great. I know she's going to enjoy it. And for, for Peggy, you flew on a two-day rendezvous to the International Space Station, and Kate Rubens will be doing the same thing as well. So what thoughts do you have for her as she's making that two-day journey through space to make things a little bit easier or help it go by before she docks to the space station? Sleep a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's my best advice. <laughs> and uh, lastly, do you have any thoughts for the, the next generation of explorers and, and particularly young women who might be th thinking of getting into careers in science, technology, education, arts, and math? Well, obviously, both Kate and I are, are big believers in the scientific route. Um, there's lots of different ways to become an astronaut, whether as a scientist, an engineer, uh, or a flight engineer, or a pilot. So there's lots of different ways to become an astronaut. Probably the most important thing uh, is to pick something in one of those fields that you really, really enjoy and be excellent at it. Kate, how about you? Yeah, when I'm out uh, talking to school kids, I, I say basically the same thing, which is that you have to be passionate and interested in what you're doing every day, and that's the most important thing. Wherever your career goals and dreams take you, if you are excited about what you're doing every single day and you want to wake up and do that more than anything in the world, then that's the right career and that's the right goal for you.